Hello and welcome to another workout. So today is going to be a nice full body workout. We're going to get, try and hit most body parts. You're going to need a bag with a bit of weight in. You're going to need your water as well. You're going to need plenty of water. And in this bag, it's just five kilos. So, you know, it's, it's not majorly heavy, but you, as we go through the workouts, you can add weight or take away weight. It's, you know, whatever seems fit. We're going to go for six exercises. We're going to do 30 seconds each exercise. And once we get to the end of that round, we're going to rest for a minute and then we're going to go again. But as always, you need a nice good warm up and we're going to have a nice little cool down at the end. Before we start, I'm just going to show you the exercises. So, you're going to need a bag like a rucksack. Or if you've got a shopping bag, that's fine. Because the first exercise we're going to do is press ups. So you don't need a bag on your back but I'm just going to use it just to add a bit of weight. So first one is press ups. So onto the floor, hands, at sh hands just past shoulder width apart and in line with your nipple line, in line with your chest line, not in line with your shoulders, in line with your nipple line. And then you're going to come down, chest to floor and then press back up. Then take the bag off your back if you've got it on there. We're going to do Upright row, right side. So keep the bag nice and close to the body. You want to flare the right elbow out, keeping it in line with the body, like so. Try not to bring your wrist over your elbow. So not like this, it's here. So it almost feels like you're pulling the elbow back. Then once then 30 seconds are up, we're going to switch sides. Then bag back onto your Back, if you've got a shopping bag, you can just hold like so. But it's going to be quite difficult because we're going to be doing Hindu squats or tippy toe squats. So, come onto your tiptoes, come down like so. Try and stay on your toes at all times. Then, we're going to get rid of the bag. Come onto our backs, we're going to get a nice bit of core going. Going to bring the legs up so they're just off the floor. We're going to do some bicycles. So you're going to bring the right knee in and left elbow up. Then we're going to switch sides like so. To make it easier, drop the feet to the floor. Drop the head to the floor and then come up, come back down to the floor, come up, back down. To make it harder, bring the head up, bring the legs up and meet in the middle. Totally up to you what you do. And then last one is alternate mountain climbers, but we're gonna do wide legs, okay? So it's gonna be here. So right leg to the outside side of the right hand, and then we're gonna switch and jump. So like so. so like so, okay? There's the six exercises. Do 30 seconds of each. Now five seconds in between stations, in between exercises, and then we're gonna have a minute break and then go again. So, first things first, let's get a warm up going, shall we? So, pigeon steps. Legs straight, bring the right foot out in front, onto the heel, bring the right hand down the back and the legs sweep up, switch sides. Good, now we're going to do leg swing. So you might need something to hold on to, either a wall or a chair. So going to swing the left leg. Just kick it up. Switch sides. Get that leg nice and high, You're nice and straight. Good, legs wide apart, touch down to centre, reach up to the sky, try and get a bit of pace this, so keep up with my count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10. Now, right hand comes down to the left foot, and then we're gonna switch sides, keeping your head low, like so. Keep up with my count, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Now, stand at the ends of your mats. Feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna bring the hands down the backs of the legs, keeping the legs nice and straight. Once you get as far as you can before you need to bend, because you're gonna to need to bring your hands to the floor. Walk the hands out in front. Twist the right hand up towards the ceiling, twisting your chest so it faces outwards. Come back down, switch sides. That's it. Keep going and then walk back in. That's it, go again. Hands down the back to the legs, walk the hands out. Do one twist, two twist, three twist, four twist, walk back in. Keep going. Sit. One, two, three, four, and walk back in. Say one more. One, two, three, four. Stay in the press up position. Now we're just going to bring the right leg to the outside of the right hand. Do a twist in. Twist the right hand up towards the ceiling. Bring it back down, switch sides, go again. Keep moving, keep going through the movements. So you feel a nice stretch in the side of the leg and also into the groin, into the side, into the butts as well. Good, stand up. Right. Now what we're going to do is star jumps, off you go. Okay, now scissor jumps, left foot forward, right arm up, jump and switch sides. Scissors, uh, star jumps. Scissors, stars, scissors, stars, scissors, keep coming, keep coming, star jumps, scissors, star jumps, done. Oh, right, that's a good warm up. Get your water. Oh, so now, body's nice and ready to have a good old workout. So remember, press up, upright row to the right side, Upright row to the left side. Tippy toe squats. It's going to work on your balance. I'm quite good at it because I wear heels every Wednesday night, so I'm good. Then into bikes, right elbow to left knee, switch sides. And then mountain climbers, wide steps. So down into press up position. Right foot to right hand, and then jump and switch sides. Like so. So, if you've got your bag, put it on your back. If you don't have your bag, if you don't need it on your back, that's fine. I'm gonna set the timer. We've got 10 seconds from now. Right, so get yourselves ready. Press ups first. Let's go. Remember I want quality over quantity. So I don't want you to get to the end of 30 seconds and tell me you've done 50 press ups. Two, 
20 is far enough. Good. Keep going. Five seconds. Good, up you go. Up right, right to the right side. Let's go. Keep that bag nice and close to your body. Keep the elbow above the wrist at all times. Try and keep that shoulder blade back. Good, six seconds. Good, switch sides. So left hand now. Let's go. So from side on, you can see body stay, the hand is staying nice and close, almost parallel with the body. The elbow as well. Good, halfway. Five seconds. Good. Bags back onto the back. Tippy toe squats. Let's go. So once you tip toes. over halfway because it's really working on the old balance I'll tell you that good it's a bit burning right in the quads now good get rid of the bag onto your backs bites let's go one two get those elbow to touch the knee Alterna, halfway, five seconds, ah, that was horrible, press up position, wide mountain climbs, let's go. Keep going. Whoa. Halfway. Sorry, the old beer guts coming out. I don't care. Let's go. Oh. Done. Oh, that's horrible. Set the time for a minute break. There you go. So, what was the weight like? Too much, too little? You got 50 seconds to go and grab some more weight or take some weight out. <sighs> Drinking water. <sighs> Keep moving. Halfway. Try and concentrate on that breathing. Try and slow it down. Try and get that recovery going. Before you know it, we're back to it. Right, I'm gonna set the timer. Right, you've got 10 seconds. Get that bag ready. Or not. You can also do press ups from your knees as well. Let's go. If you need to, take longer rests. Pause the video. Join back in when you feel ready. Oh, halfway. Quality over quantity. Three, two, one. Bag off your back, right hand first, let's go, 
Upright row. Keep that bag nice and close to the body. Keep the elbow above the wrist at all times. Just over halfway. Five seconds. Good, switch sides. So left side now. Let's go. This one you'll probably find out your weaknesses. Which side's stronger in this movement? It's good to do bilateral exercises. Halfway. You'll find out where your weaknesses are and what you need to strengthen on. Good. Five seconds. Good. Tippy toe squat. Let's go. If you get your balance, try and get a good couple of reps of these. I want you in your 20s on these. Lost his balance. Try and do it without poking your tongue out as well. Oh, onto your backs. Bikes. Let's go. Keep going. Get those elbows to the knees. Halfway. Take rest if you need to. Join back in when you can. Five seconds. Oh. Mountain climbers, wide steps. Let's go. Keep going. Halfway. This is a killer. Oh. Move forward this exercise. Five seconds. Oh. Done. Oh. What was that all about? Another minute. Remember, if you need longer, just pause the video. Take longer. Which I'm going to do. <laughs> ah. oh. One more round, one more than no more. Oh. And I'm not talking like when you're down the pub and you say one more than no more. This is one more and then you're done. 20 seconds. Oh. Add weight or take away weight. 10 seconds. Let's go. He says with the slowest start ever. <laughs> Come on. Last round. And then you're done. You don't need to do no more for the day. Just over halfway. Don't let the back drop. Don't let the hips drop. Stay nice and strong. Push. Push. Ah. Oh. All right, come on then. Let's start with the left side this time. Let's go. All right, right, right. Left side. Keep that bag nice and close to the body. No swinging. Halfway. Good. Keep those elbows nice and parallel. Five seconds. 
Switch sides. Get ready. Let's go. Same as the other side. No swinging. Stay nice and strong. The only thing that should be moving is the shoulder and the elbow. Good, 10 seconds. I think I'll have to close my eye for this one. Pain's getting there. Tell me when it's over. Three, two, one. Tippy toe squat. Let's go. Halfway. Oh, this is the last time you do this today. Get as many as you can. Come on. Come on. Be pushing. Oh. In the bag. Bikes. Let's go. Join it when you can. Get a nice twist. Halfway. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. Now we've got mountain climbers. Let's go. Good. Halfway. Ten seconds left. Come on. Keep going. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was horrible. But if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. You feel me knocking? Well, let me in. Well, let me in. Ah, oh, done. Get some water. Try and get that breathing down. Oh. And when you're ready, oh, go down on your backs. And let's just get that breathing back down. Okay, when you can, legs out in front. Bring the right knee into the chest and try and pull the knee into the, sh into the right shoulder pit. Good, switch sides. Good. Take the legs out straight, bring the right leg up straight, clasp the hands down the back of the thigh and you start feeling the stretch in the back of the leg. Try and keep that leg nice and straight. Just hold it there for a couple of seconds. Take a big breath in, breathe out. Stay here if you want to or just climb up the leg. Ease off, switch sides. Left leg comes up, clasp down the back of the thigh. Feel the stretch in the back of the left of the hamstring, the back of the leg. Okay, big breath in. 
Breathe out, stay here if you want to, or walk yourself up the leg. Now ease off, sit yourselves up, tuck the heels under the, under the bum, so you're sitting on the heels, get those knees together, walk the legs back. Uh, sorry, walk the hands back, I'm so knackered. <laughs> I'm so knackered, I can't speak, I can't think. Just feel the stretch in the quads. Where I was getting the old tippy toe squats. Uh, ease off. Now, bring the right hand round the back, so you bring it down to the back, of, um, back so you're touching the bum. Bring the left hand over to the right side of the head and then just let it take the weight. That's it, so you just feel the stretch just coming down your neck, down into the shoulder. Good, and then switch sides. Good. Now last one, bring the palms of your hands down to the back, to the lower back to the upper part of your bum, and you're just going to try and squeeze your elbows together and tilt the head back. Good, everyone. That's what we call a bingo. Done. Well done. Let me know in the comments how you got on. If you need any help, go to my Insta or my Facebook and send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with anyone that you think may benefit from these workouts. Have a lovely day. Boom.